Have you ever seen someone creating art and wondered how did they get to that skill level? Well, your answer is just that. Levels going from this to this. Drawing jellyfish. Let's draw a couple of different jellyfish starting with one that is like super easy. The cartoon jellyfish, we're going to go with a force shortened circle. So it looks like a circle that's gotten squashed. And then we're gonna put a dome on top of it. So we're gonna make an arched line that goes from the very edge of this circle to the very edge of this one. So don't, don't make your line come in here. As far over as it can. Nice dome. You can have a tall dome, you can have a short dome, could have a wobbly dome. It's okay, it's jellyfish. Jellyfish like to kind of be in all different kinds of shapes. So this is the main body of our jellyfish. And now we're going to add in our tentacles underneath. So for a really easy one, we're just gonna bring down a little squiggly line. Another one. We're just gonna keep this up all the way to the edge. And then do the same thing over here. Notice how they don't have to all look the same. They don't have to be the same length. They don't have to be going in the same direction. They're just kind of floating through the water. And there we go, a basic little jellyfish. You can add a little cute face on him if you want. So here we have our cartoon jellyfish, but what if we want to bump this up to be a little bit more realistic. Not super hard, but just a little bit more realistic. We're gonna take the things that we learned with this jellyfish and apply it to our new one. So once again, I'm gonna start with that foreshortened circle. But I'm gonna be a little bit looser about it this time. And the dome, instead of just coming straight up and around, I'm gonna have it kind of come up and out a little bit. So it's almost like a little chef's hat. Do you also notice the difference in how I'm drawing? So this one, I was just having very solid straight lines. Where this one, I'm kind of just letting the pencil create the movement. For the underside of this jelly, I'm not gonna keep it a solid straight line. I'm gonna have it kind of be a little bit wobbly. And then I'm gonna add some texture lines of it kind of coming up around the edges there. Just like that. So here we have the kind of the domed or the, I don't know, there's probably a, an official name for this, the cap of the jellyfish, the body of the jellyfish. But there's some stuff that goes on on the inside. This is like the outside of it, but there's some stuff in the inside. So I'm just going to make a little kind of indentation of where that, that is. And then a lot of jellies actually have some pretty nice thick tentacles that kind of come down here before you get the long strangly bits. So I'm just gonna bring a couple of lines down. See how they're just moving however they want, but I'm slowly tapering this off until it gets all the way down to this nice little point down here. Now at this point, I'm going to bring down its little tendrils from, from right in here. And there we go, our finished little jellyfish. So starting off with something just really basic and then taking the ideas you have of this and elaborating it and pushing yourself to create a more finished looking jellyfish, it's kind of like you're leveling up your art skills. Jellyfish come in so many different species. So 
A lot of them have different looking tentacles, they're different colors. So if you enjoy drawing this kind of a jellyfish, I encourage you to look up some pictures and photographs of them, study what makes different types of jellyfish, what kinds of tendrils they have. There's big ones, tall ones, skinny ones, short ones, flat ones. But I wanna take this idea and bump it up one more level. I'm gonna add some color to that. Feel free to join me. You can color your jellyfish with markers or crayons, color pencils, paints, whatever you have. Let's just have some fun creating jellyfish.